Gabrielle Fontaine. I am graduating Center of Arts and Technology this September. I've really gotten direction here. I've really learned to believe in myself here. My name is Jake Shelley. The film program at Cato is very hands-on. All of the people teaching you are members of the industry, so they know what they're talking about. I'm more hands-on, more into it. You give me a piece of tech and I'm going to be able to figure it out and use it the way it needs to be used. I love the connections that the staff have to get you right into the action, get you right where you need to go. I think the teachers have a really good way of pinpointing each student's individual strengths and weaknesses and then helping guide that person to their own success. And I think that that's really important in a school. My name is Izzy. I'm in the 2D animation program. So today at Comic-Con, I'm here to draw portraits of people who walk by that might be interested in the booth. And yeah, I'm just drawing quick, like five to 10 minute portraits for them to keep for free. My name is Rin Defoe. I went to Cato for the 2D animation and digital art program. I'm here vending my art. I've always loved video games, anime, cartoons, stuff like that. I love storytelling and I love being able to tell these like daydreams and stories that I've had in my mind to people. At Comic-Con right now, I am vending. I am specifically a 2D animator. I am just working with the builds, making the characters move. I found that there was a lot of hands-on elements to this program that I, that I really liked. Uh, you come out with a portfolio and something to show for what you've learned. The teachers are uh, very understanding, very reasonable with what they expect from, from students. I got an email from Cato talking about an orientation with this, this university in, in the UK and I showed my wife immediately. She was like, wow, that looks interesting and we both we both really like to travel. We like to experience new cultures and new places. Center for Arts and Technology gave me enough confidence to actually try to go for the next step to go to university. My name is Eileen Purnell. What made me decide to come into audio engineering was actually my passion for music that stemmed from playing the trumpet for 20 years. I just love being an audio engineer. My name is Kyle Schultz. I've been working on a video game project and it is so much easier to maintain the workflow after coming out of the school and having that inertia to push me into the industry. My name is Aiden. I really enjoyed school because it taught me how to learn and taught me how to be passionate about something. Going to Cato was one of the best experiences of my life. I was able to put forth every effort I had because of the environment that I learned in. This got me into being fond of school because I learned like, oh, I can learn about things that I care about and learn about things that I want to do. I found my experience here to be the best school experience of my life. The teachers care about the students as well as the subjects that they're teaching and it makes you want to learn more from them. They actually get to know you and they get to help you grow your creativity. I just currently wrapped a 23-day uh, film for BuzzFeed. Right now I'm actually working for a post-production studio in Vancouver called Postmodern Sound. I think I've done around 10 movies now. My name's Kristen. My name's Carrie. My name is Carmen Marcel. I took the veterinary assistant program. All the instructors were there for us and wanted us to succeed. The experience of working with animals, the knowledge was great, and being able to make connections with people that have the same passion as I do. I absolutely adored my teachers. I had such a great bond and experience with them. I actually still am even quite close with quite a few of them. I like that it was smaller classes. You got more one-on-one -on -one with your instructors. We all got to know each other and really grew. It's kind of like almost like a family unit. Today, 
I get the reward of getting to work with animals every day and it's something that I have so much passion for and this is my favorite thing. I wake up every day so happy. Initially, I had just finished my program at like the electronic music production program and I was an artist making music, producing, and I found my biggest hurdle was finding cover art and just visual components to represent my music. Life would kind of be boring if I didn't find my creative roots, no matter what the pressure is around you from your parents or your friends into like what you think you should do. You really just got to do what's best for you because at the end of the day, you're all you got. Having you guys be a part of this and seeing all of the wonderful artwork and getting a chance to meet you guys has just been absolutely amazing. I didn't have any set expectations for what was going to happen, um, but I was blown away by the artwork and just the passion and the love that kind of came through the artwork that we saw. Um, it was so hard to pick one or two or three. They were just, there were so many great ones in there. And um, I think you guys are doing an amazing job. And I think that these students are just, the sky's the limit for them. I am Nikki Fosbury and I'm in the professional photography program. I began photography in high school. Um, I did the whole dark room experience. Sadly, I don't feel that I had the support I needed at that time in my life or the encouragement to continue on with it. I didn't feel that I could be successful at putting my creativity out there. What led me here was 20 years of being of service in a care home and raising my children and just feeling that I'm always working hard for everyone else. With the help and support of my husband, I was encouraged to make the change in my life and here I am today and I am now taking part in me time. I'm learning the things that I want to do. I went to Tough Mudder and made these goals and it's all about goals and achievements now and making sure that I'm doing what I love. My name is Hannah Bedwell and I take professional photography. I was being told by everybody that I should go into sciences and whatever I had the grades that I should do, um, like philosophy or psychology or something, but I wanted to do this. It's a nice outlet and I just wanted something that brought me joy. And so to be here today, it's rejuvenating, it's energizing, it's exciting. Um, I'm so thrilled to be here. I'm so thrilled with learning more of the technical stuff. Um, would I encourage others to be here? Yes, do it. And I've been telling that with the kids in class that I'm with, you know, like, hey, you've got this dream, you've got this goal, go for it. I wish somebody had told me that. Could somebody please have like taken me 20 years back and said, get that camera in your hands. I was always told when I first got here that you take away what you put in, and that's very true. And they were just able to offer advice, good support all the way around. I do have support here, even continuing support. We've got connections to classmates and teachers. Even after the program is coming to an end, we are very much connected, supported, encouraged. I look forward to seeing where this leads. I look forward to how we all do stay connected. I'm Naomi Wilson. I took the Advanced Interior Design program. You kind of uh, get to know a lot of industry people here, especially with Jen, having been in the industry for so long, she has lots of different contacts. My name is Abby Rickert. I definitely grew up rearranging my room, watching HDTV um, as a kid, being like super in awe of everything that they did. My name is Alexis Davis. My grandma, she uh, is an interior decorator, so I always grew up like working at her store with her. I've made a lot of close friends during my time here which has been really important to me. My experience here has been very positive, just knowing that I'm being like properly prepped for what's to come in the industry. I got to know a lot of people really closely and I got a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, which was super beneficial. It's just like a really fun experience to get to work on something super creative. My teachers, as I said, having them from the industry has kind of helped me build confidence and learn to connect with new people from the industry. We've all gotten along really well and it's been very enjoyable and I've met some very incredible people and I think with our instructors, um, you know, they're in the industry so they can give us a lot of insight to that aspect and they're also just super helpful. They're willing to sit and do one-on-ones, meet with you outside of class 
um, and everything just in general has been really positive in that aspect. My name is Leah Simbo and I'm in the Advanced Interior Design and Technology program. Tonight was our grad show and we were just showing a little showcase for our final capstone project. Mine was the Birch Collective, which is a women's shelter and sexual assault support center. We were doing an award for our final capstones, the overall award, and I was really fortunate enough to be crowned the winner. So that was an amazing experience. And I got this chair that I'm sitting on. It's been a lot of work, but all of it worth it. My one piece of advice that I would really push for every graduate is to take every opportunity you can. Have fun and not take it too seriously. Collaborate with others. You have to get yourself out there. Social media, things like that, it's so important. Make things and enjoy like what you create because you are always gonna be your number one fan. Everyone here at Cato is so determined and willing and eager to learn with every student. And that's what I found most rewarding was being in that environment every single day. I interacted a lot with student success. I just really enjoyed the people in student success and found having a personal relationship with them to be really enjoyable. Hey grads, congratulations on this great achievement. I wanted to take this opportunity to wish you the best moving forward and to congratulate you on the successes you've had here and graduating from the program. Congratulations on your big day. A huge congratulations. Congratulations on graduating. It has been such an honor to be part of your educational journey. It's been a tough 24 months, but you've done wonderful and amazing work. I know how hard you've worked to get to this point. We're very proud of you for your relentless hard work. We're really looking forward to watching your careers as they move forward and all the successes that you're going to have uh, in the years to come. I wish you all the best in your future successes. I'm so proud of you and I'm so glad that I've been part of your educational journey. I've always said this, my favorite part of this job is meeting people along the way and building relationships over time. And I hope all of you will keep in contact and let me know how you're doing, ask for advice, or even just a talk shop. We're really looking forward to hearing back from you, hearing about your successes, achievements. Make yourselves proud, uh, do what you love, and uh, again, I couldn't be more proud myself. I hope that you'll keep in touch with me in your successful years to come. As you go out into the world, uh, continue to work hard and play nice. Good luck with everything, and I wish you all the best. I wish you the best of luck. Congratulations. Thanks for being my students. You guys are awesome. Congratulations to all the graduates of Center for Arts and Technology, all the different programs, all the amazing, amazing accomplishments. Uh, you guys have worked your butts off, and a big thank you to everyone that trusted us with their education. Students, parents, grandparents, uh, we wish you the absolute best.